we've got one of those 10 most deadliest snakes in the world, so just be careful. Keep going. Straight down. Oh, there it is. That tree there. Is that it there? Yep. I'm deep in the Tasmanian bush, where Sarah Glover is using meat to scare off deadly snakes as we search for local herbs. As you can see, they kind of look like they've got a bit of oil in them. That's spicy. You put it in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Now Do you get that after? Yeah. It almost numbs now. your tongue a little it bit, does. doesn't it? With the samphire and pepperberry leaf in hand, the bush bashing is complete. It's time to cook the wallaby. The real reason Sarah brought me out here. Oh, man. <laughs> Such My a winter. I know, sorry. You didn't last a day with me in the wild. Mise en place. Love that. You pull him up, down he comes. Literally utilising every space. So let's have a look what we shot the other oh night. Oh my goodness. This is our wallaby. As you can see, there's not a lot of fat on it. No, that's incredible. Yeah. So you call this the saddle? Yep. Yeah. And little fillets under there mm -hmm. as well. And so underneath here is like yep. the prize part. Yep. So let's get the um, ingredients out. We're going to be cooking the lean and tender backstrap. I make a samphire and native cherry pickle. I love these little cherries. Sarah makes a rub out of the pepperberry and sea salt, and then she goes old school. So we're going to use our hot rock. This is an old indigenous technique. So it basically acts as a frying pan, yeah. more or less. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you, you see that? Absolutely. A little bit more. Could be good dogs. Beautiful. Man. Now it doesn't need long, so I reckon no. let's flip him. Just put it in another little hot spot on the rock. Can you smell that um, aroma no, from I the, can. the pepper? pepper. Yeah, big time. Oh, I'm excited about this. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely, sir. God, it's so tender. All right, let's taste this. So you dip in. Wow. The actual wallaby itself mm. is so tasty. It is real tasty. It's mild. I actually prefer it more than like beef because it's so sweet, yeah. isn't it? But there's no marbling of fat anywhere no. inside there. It's just pure. But isn't it tender? Yeah, what goes with it brilliantly yeah. um, are the cherries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really beautiful. Fascinating that everything is located so close to the sea. Yeah. I'm blown away. Oh, well, you should go to the inland of Tassie. There's really? amazing lakes in the middle of this island. Wow. You definitely should fly in and check it out. By plane? Yeah. Calabara Betsy? No. Betsy? Uh, uh, Julia? Definitely not after that comment. <laughs> no, what's... Harriet the Chariot. Harriet the Chariot. Sorry, she comes with me. Sarah Glover. She knows this area on the back of her hand. She now suggests I get inland, and if the outside, you know, on the beach and the forest, I need to go by, then I'm in for an even bigger treat. 